Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Gardner again. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be doing a two-part activity. We're going to be starting with oobleck. So you can go ahead and gather these supplies now or you can um, stop the video and get your supplies and, um, and do it with me, okay? So first thing you're going to need is a half a cup of water, um, one cup of cornstarch, and a Ziploc bag or a bowl, okay? I prefer the bag right now because for cleanup purposes and for the activities, for the second part of the activity, it'll make things a lot easier, okay? So we're gonna start by getting that one cup of cornstarch. Okay, I'm gonna very carefully scoop it in. It's a very simple recipe. It's basically one part to one to a half part. Okay, so if I have one cup of cornstarch, then I will need a half a cup of water. However, if mom or dad are running a little low and they don't have as much um, uh, cornstarch as you might need, just remember that ratio. So if you only have a half a cup of cornstarch, then you would need do some thinking. Got the answer? You'd only need a quarter cup of water. Okay, and I've sealed up the bag nice and tight. And then I just need to start mixing. Okay. Now, oobleck is a non-Newtonium fluid. Anybody know what that means? Okay. I'll let you. I'll tell you that it is a fluid that acts as a solid and a liquid at the same time, okay? Now I notice I might have went a little light on the water. I also noticed that someone before me was using warm water, and so the warm water might have uh, contributed to the activation a little bit. So I'm just gonna add a drop, drop, drop more of water, just a drop, don't wanna overdo. Okay, seal that back up. Okay, continue my mixing. Okay. And then you can start to see it do its job. So what's happening is, if I, looking at it, it looks like a liquid, right? It's rolling all over in there, but I can grab a chunk of it, and as long as I'm adding pressure to it, I can actually have it act, roll it into a ball, and have it act like a solid. And then let go, and there's liquid again, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this aside and get ready for the second part of our activity, which is going to be oobleck egg drop. We're gonna see if oobleck can protect an egg, a raw egg, from falling. You've heard of some of those experiments where they build these fancy contraptions to see if an egg, they can protect an egg. You learn that in packaging skills, right? And we're gonna see if oobleck can protect our egg. So visit me on the next video and um, we'll move to step two. Bye for now.